Good morning, Mr. Freeman. How are you feeling? Could be better. It's just a pre-anesthetic, Mr. Freeman. Nothing to worry about. It's gonna make you feel a little bit numb, maybe a little bit sleepy. I'm gonna take you down to surgery now, Mr. Freeman. Just a minute. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. Hello. How are you? Are you ready? I guess so. Your nurse gave me something. I looked at your brain scan and the tumor is pretty deep in there. But I am sure we can get it out. Never seen your clone before, have you? No, never. It's strange. First, we are going to mirror your brain. It's a standard backup procedure. Your IQ is 442. I'm a professor of quantum physics. Dark matter. You must be a genius. Well, let's get things rolling, shall we? How many layers are we doing? Four, Dr. Richards. Prepare the backup. Everything seems to be in order. The magnetic fields are stable. A blink is ready. Are you feeling drowsy? No, not really, but I, I feel something. It's like ants crawling through my brain. Tingling? It's part of the process. Well, as long as you don't copy the tumor. Just your memories. You can breathe normally. We're starting to transfer now. A backup. In case of what? In the unlikely event that something would go wrong during surgery, it would give us a chance to save you. Save me? But if I wake up over there, that's not gonna be me. I'm not him, right? I mean, you would wake up in a different body. Huh? I've got a tumor in my head, the size of an apple. That is not the way to fix it. Mr. Freeman, we have to follow protocol before we do surgery. Point is, want to 
and physics says it's impossible to make an exact copy of anything. You can't copy the probability distribution of electrons. If I die, I die. That's it. Minor interference detected. Is this still readable on your screen? Well, it's there, but it's it could be better. When we fall asleep at night, our conscience is turned off. Our basic self is gone. When you wake up the next day, how do you know you are the same as you were before? You might have been sleeping for weeks or maybe frozen for centuries. I guess I could tell if I'd been sleeping for hundreds of years. Yes, but you could only tell by looking at your surroundings. Me, the ship, not by how you felt. As long as your memories are the same, you'll think that it was you going to bed. But in reality, you can't be sure that you're still you. Maybe last night didn't even exist. What are you saying? That I'm a clown? I'm just saying, if you can't tell the difference, why be so worried? You may have been dying every single night since you were born. They're all memories, Professor. That's our soul. I'm sorry, Doctor. I... It's not looking good over here. He's running out of time. Status? 79.1%. He's accessing the hippocampus. How is that possible? Can't be. It, it looks like he's analyzing some complex mathematical equation. No. It's praying. Increase the fields. But if we increase the fields, it... Do it. Increasing on sector five. 84.6%. Memories. I have memories. Of how I got my scar, for example. I used to get butterflies when I was young. I married my wife because she smiled. Everything's blurry now. I can't move my eyes. I don't want to fucking die here, you know? I just don't want to fucking die here! My memories... I can see... He's shutting down the mainframe. He's running out of time. Transfer complete, Dr. Richards. Transfer complete. Did we get all of it? Uh, yes. Um, well, most of it. October of last year could be gone. A couple of days in November. Nothing major is missing. Nothing in the files, Doctor. I have to fabricate. Scar. Do you... Do you want me to shut him down and start the transfer? Uh, yes, Sophie. Thank you. Let's play some music. What are you... waiting for? Nothing. I... I... Saved him forever. 